What's up, everyone? Jacob Roach back here from the Killing Joke Studios and Mixing with Metal. I'm here today to give another quick tip video about how to stem in Pro Tools. Stemming is super important and is a vital tool to uh, know how to do. I know some other DAWs like Cubase um, have a lot of features that enable stemming to be really quick and easy. Uh, in Pro Tools, it's it can be quick and it can be easy, but it's a little bit more complicated as to how to actually do it. There's not there's not some user menu to just go ahead and do it. So we're gonna use stemming for all sorts of different stuff. For instance, this is a pre-production session. So I have you know drum MIDI, I have bass MIDI, guitars, and then all the production we put on top of it. And this is gonna be stemmed out for the engineer, whether it's me or whether it's someone else tracking, so that they can have all the pre-production and they can be able to quickly import it into their session and have no problems. If you just exported each of these clips the way they were uh it would be cumbersome say for instance if i just sold out the bass midi which this is what i used to do and it was a pain and you go to bounce to disc and then you bounce just the bass midi and then you bounce just the guitar you would have some problems as to where the tracks are supposed to lay where the insertion point is all sorts of stuff so this is the quickest way to do it and it is the most efficient way and it works so that's that's what we're going to do so the first thing we need to do is we need to find uh the entry point which is the first bar of the session, the first beat of the first bar of the session, and then we need to define the end point. So we can see that all, everything here doesn't go past 121, bar 121. Everything ends at bar 121, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to select bar 21, 121, or whatever bar everything ends at, slide over, and then go down, okay? So now we have everything selected really quick. Okay, now we're going to consolidate these. If you don't know the shortcut, it is Alt-Shift-3. I'm not exactly sure. It's probably like Option-Shift-3 on Mac. I'm not 100% sure. Or you can just go to the Edit, window, or the edit uh, you know, pull-down menu, whatever, and hit Consolidate Clip there. So we're just going to do Alt-Shift-3. All right, and then we're going to wait for them all to render out. When you're doing a lot of these, it can take a minute, but it's not going to take a super long time. So Alt-Shift-3, and we're going to consolidate these. And what's this going to do, and you're going to see here in a second exactly what it's going to do. It will take all of these tracks and make them go to the, the zero point of the song and make them all end at bar 121 where we want them to end. So here we go. There we go. Perfect. So now we have all of our tracks, and as we can see, they are all good. Cool. So we have them all, uh, you know, put all the way to bar 121 and starting all at the beginning. Okay. The next step, and this is the most painstaking step, is to go through and to rename these. Okay. Say, for instance, I want drum MIDI. Boom. Boom. And it's already in use. I've already done this for these files, so I'm not going to do it. But you just hit right-click on these, hit rename, and we can just rename this base, for instance. Cool. And so now we have all of these different things stem are ready to go to be stemmed out. And we go through and we rename all of them. I'm not going to do it just for the sake of time. And after we do all this, after we've renamed all of our tracks, we got our naming convention set up, we select all these tracks. Okay? So we just hit the bottom and we just start selecting all of them. I know there's a shortcut to select all of them. I haven't learned it, and I don't care to learn it because uh, it probably slowed me down at this point anyway. So um, we have all of our tracks selected, and we can see over in our clips menu, if you don't have that, click this little arrow down here. We can see in our clips menu that the corresponding tracks are all selected. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on those and we're going to export clips as files. Okay, generally when you're stemming out, you're going to want to do wave 24 bit or even 32 bit float if you want. Uh, generally, I just do whatever the session's going to be and I export the waves as that. We're going to choose our destination directory. Um, I have just depending on wherever you want it to be, you know, and then you just click export. And then after that, you should have a folder full of all the stems for a particular session. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Once again, if you guys have any questions or any quick tips that you think you'd like me to go over, make sure to just leave it in the comments below or send me a message and I'll make a video over it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.